good God's morning to you. I pray that you're having a blessed day for it is another day. What? The Lord has made. And we will, we shall, we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. All right. Well, good morning to you all. Let's get our scripture for this morning. Our scripture is going to be coming from Titus, first chapter, and the seventh through the ninth verse. Titus chapter 1, verses 7 through 9. And it says, Since an overseer is entrusted with God's work, he must be blameless, not overbearing, not quick-tempered, not given to drunkenness, not violent, not pursuing dishonest gain. Rather, he must be hospitable, one who loves what is good, who is self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. He must hold firm to the trustworthy message as it has been taught so that he can encourage others by sound doctrine and refute those who oppose it. Amen. Well, look at that. Today, beloved, you know, and I try to stay away from, um, you know, talking about... Um, other uh, things such as this, you know, preachers and, you know, other things. But, I mean, y'all see what the Word says, okay? Y'all see what the Word says. Um, the overseer. Um, and this is one of those texts where that word actually is used, overseer. But we know about the fivefold ministries, you know, the pastors, teachers, prophets, apostles, and bishops, Okay. And so here it is that you have um, this word and you have a fivefold. Now, understand that he is, Titus is talking about all of that, okay? Um, anyone that's entrusted with people of God and the work of God, all right? And so here it is um, this morning that it says this, um, the one that is entrusted, Overseer entrusted with God's work must be blameless, not with bearing. Beloved, y'all, y'all, y'all know. I mean, I, I shouldn't, I don't have, I don't think I need to say. We know, I want you to be aware of and to really know the wolves in sheep clothing. Or, let me say this, the wolves in shepherd, under shepherd clothing. Okay? If something don't look right, Something don't feel right. If, you know, you can see things. And, you know, I'm going to say this too. You got to, the Bible says, mercy, make sure that the mercy you give is also the mercy that you want shown to you. Okay? And so, I'm not saying go around point fingers and as soon as they make a mistake, you, ah, you know, and I'm, you know, no. I'm saying pray for people. Especially those who are, have been given charge over us. Because life is not easy. You know, many of us are alone. You know, there's no one that we can talk to about those things that the enemy comes, you know, to us. And so many of us are alone. We deal with situations alone. You know, some of us don't even tell our spouses what's going on, you know. Um, and, and it, you know, pray for them. Okay? Pray for them. And, and make sure, you know, that if they make a mistake, that you're the first to be to show grace and pray for them because you never know when you might need that same grace displayed to you. That's what the Bible says. Okay. But I'm, I'm saying about the repeated offenders, those who just don't care, you know, have that mentality. Look, I'm the pastor. Do as I, I say, not as I do. And I do what I want to do. You know, all that type of stuff. Be careful about that. Okay. Be careful about that. It's my prayer that you find yourself into a place where um, preachers are authentic. And I, I don't care if you don't like their authentic to see. <laughs> At least they're authentic. They're telling you the truth. What would you rather be around? A liar or a person that, that tells you the truth, but yet you don't know how to really accept the truth? I'm just asking a question. All right. Um, so, again... Be, be aware of those wolves who are dressed up in under sheep, under shepherd's clothing. 
Okay? Be mindful of that. You you already know it. Let's look at the word again. Um, it says, rather, he must be hospitable, one who loves what is good, one who is control, who, who is self-controlled and upright, holy, and disciplined. And he firmly holds to the word of God, sound doctrine, and he refutes those who oppose it. All right, beloved. Y'all know the word, okay? I'm just, I pray, the Bible says that he will give us pastors after his heart. And I pray, beloved, that, you know, those of you, and I'll say this, and I and I mean this for real, those of you who are sitting under leaders who, at the drop of a hat, would do some crazy things to you. That's not God. Those of you who sit under leaders who, you know, you know they don't approve. Yet they're doing other things as well. Y'all, be free. I pray that you find yourself into a, 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 a Bible-based church, one who who actually, a church who actually knows the word, doesn't just take it for face surface, but actually digs in it, helps you understand what it's saying, and loves God people. I pray that you find that place. Okay? All right. Well, let's pray. Father, we thank you, God, for this moment of communion with you. God, to hear what your word is telling us for today. God, I thank you for the fellowship with your people. God, those who are on now and those who may watch later. God, I ask you now that you just continue to lead us into all truth. God, give us leaders and make those who are leaders, God, help them to see themselves and to turn and to be what you have called them to be and us to be. God, we thank you. We give you praise, glory, and honor for it today, for you being a gracious and loving God. God, we know that you'll deal with those who uh, contend with your sheep, God, for they're not ours. As under shepherds, the people that you've given to us are not even ours. They're yours, God. And so, God, I know that you're going to attend with those who, who, who attend with your, your sheep. And, God, get those right. Get us right. If you find anything that's not in us that, God, you didn't put and that we shouldn't be operating or doing, God, remove it. In this hour, God, we you said that you, you seek for a, a worshiper who will worship you in spirit and in truth. So, Father, we thank you for your spirit that dwells within us. And, God, we thank you for the truth that we walk in. And we ask you now, God, to give us strength to walk this walk. Give us the, the, the courage and the reality to talk it. God, give us the strength and the courage and the reality to, to live it. Lord, we thank you for it now. And we ask these blessings in Jesus' name. God, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Well, God bless you this morning. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Another word from the Lord. Um, don't know what it'll be yet. But we'll see what the app says for the scripture for the day, okay? So God bless y'all. Y'all have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good God's morning to you. Good morning, everybody that's watching. I can't see your names because you haven't said hello to me yet. But that's fine. God bless you. Good morning. And y'all have a great day, okay? We'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Good God's morning to you.